What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new terrifying video on my terrific channel. Yes guys, it has been quite a little while since I've actually made a normal video. Did you guys miss me? No. Oh, well thank you. I missed you guys too. Oh, it's been a while, but guys, don't worry. Nothing big or bad or anything really happened to me to be quite honest. I was on vacation visiting my family for Solar New Year's. Solar New Year's. It's actually Lunar New Year's, but I guess it's the same. Or maybe it's Solar New Year's. Does that even exist? Is that a thing? Anyway, so I was visiting some relatives in a different city for a few days, but now I'm back in Seoul. I've taken some time off, probably too much actually. It feels so weird getting back into this. By the way, guys, this shirt, this is not new merch in case you guys are wondering. This is actually a fan-made t-shirt, custom-made, given to me by a fan whenever he was visiting Seoul. How cool is that? Today's story, guys, is a scary one. It is called Best Friends by Sejun Park and Jay Il So. Now, typically any kind of scary story that has to do with best friends, you know something better that's gonna happen between them. But before we get started with today's video, guys, I wanna give a quick shout out to our sponsor, the Amino App. The Amino App, of course, is the best place to connect with other K-culture and K-pop fans. They have a community for just about any interest you can imagine. And most recently, they just came out with the Korean Roleplay community. Korean Roleplay? Yeah, well, I guess that's a thing nowadays. Some of my favorite features are the live layer, where you can actually see how many members are currently online and what they're doing. Looks like about 40 people are chatting and 48 people are reading posts. There's always something to do on the app and there's always like-minded people online. They have places for fan art, fan fiction, GIFs, memes, you name it. And probably one of my favorite features of the app are the public chat rooms. There you can chat and make friends with other like-minded people. So whether you're into K-culture, K-pop, Korean roleplay, guys, they have an Amino community for that. And speaking of that, did you guys know that there's a Terry's Toast Army Amino? There's an Amino community on here just for you guys. Click that link down in the description, download Amino, check out K-pop Amino, K-culture, Korean roleplay, Terry's TV Toast Army, and start connecting with other people today. Now, without further ado, guys, let's get started with today's story. It starts off during the day. We're outside an apartment building. Yeren has been strange lately. What do you mean? You guys are like best friends. We hear two people talking. I know, but we see someone and it looks like they're hiding, but we don't know where they are. The heck is going on? We just started. She just seems kind of obsessed with me. With you? In what way? It feels like we see a closet. And then, oh, oh, did that yet in? Is she, what is she? Maybe she's playing hide and seek. She keeps watching me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to best friends. What the heck, dude? That's, that's how you're going to open it up? Yeah, something's definitely wrong with her. It's a nice, calm, sunny day. It looks like we're at a school. Bye, Suyan. See you tomorrow. Suyan, our main protagonist, waves to some friends as they leave. Suyan, a voice calls out to her. Sorry, I'm late. My class ran late. It's okay, darling. Are you hungry? I guess that's her boyfriend that she was talking to over the phone before. Should we go? get some burgers? Or do you want to order Chinese food? Since we have to talk about the presentation, we should order something. Just then, we see Yeren peer from across the corner. Uh-oh, it looks like Suyan's eyes have caught her. Yeren? Whoosh! She quickly strolls off, not saying a word. What is it? Are you and Yeren supposed to have lunch together? Well, we usually eat together, but I forgot to tell her that I'm meeting you today. Uh-oh. This is gonna be a boyfriend getting in between a best friendship kind of thing, right? I'm sorry, but let's meet separately and then meet a bit later to talk about the presentation. Sure, go ahead then. The boyfriend reluctantly agrees. And with that, she departs. Watch where you run. Sorry, see you later. And she's gone. <laughs> Silly. They're a cute couple. Well, that's nice. Back at home. Sizzle, sizzle. We hear the sweet, delicious sound of fried rice cooking. Mmm, boy, it smells good. We see Yeren is the one holding the spatula, with Suyan over next to her talking. My boyfriend agreed to help me with my presentation today. We're supposed to talk about it, but he only has time at lunch. She tries to explain the situation to her best friend. This is why I said you should take class with me next semester. Then you wouldn't have needed any help from your boyfriend. Yeren... I can't leave my whole schedule blank just to take this one class with you. And I appreciate you wearing the sweater that I got you, but you should take it off when you get home. The weather is steaming hot. Look, you're sweating. Should I take it to the dry cleaner for you? Clank! Yeren slams the spatula down. Stop it! Get some help. I would take a semester off from school if you asked me to. I could do even more if it's for your sake. Oh my goodness. Yeren just admitting the boundaries of what she would do for her best friend. And surprisingly enough, she seems surprised. Yeren. But Yeren says nothing, and she does her wish thingy again and goes away. Where are you going? Suyan shouts, but Yeren does now return, leaving her in the dark. Literally, it's dark. The following day, it's getting out of hand. We see the closet again. Oh, don't tell me Yeren's in there again, dude. Why do we keep seeing that? We've been together from elementary school and middle school to high school and university. All right, it's good to have some backstory because I wasn't sure how long they've known each other. If it wasn't that long, then yeah, Yeren would be seeming hella creepy. <laughs> 
I thought it would be really easy living with Yeti, but now it's just a burden. Okay, that's a laptop with a USB drive in it. You can change the settings here. Oh, wow. Thanks. Seems like Suyan and her boyfriend are working on something on the computer. Hmm, it's getting late already. Hmm? It's already getting late. What is it? Are you meeting someone? No, it's just almost time for Yedin to come home. So what? Does Yedin not like me being here? Hmm. Flashback. You're going on a trip with your boyfriend this summer? No way. Don't you dare go. If you're going somewhere, I'm going with you. Oh my gosh, dude. We're seeing a flashback to a very demanding Yedin who seems to not want to share Suyun. It's not that she hates you. She's just kind of sensitive. So I feel like she probably won't let me bring other people here since she shares the apartment with me. Oh yeah? Then I'll get out of the way. But before I do, he brushes up his face right against hers. Just once. Huh? Super quick. He playfully chases her around the apartment. No way. Damn dude, is he talking about like, you know, like, like, you know, like it? Oh my gosh, yes he was. Oh, okay. Ah, you're such a perv. Okay, children, shield your eyes. It appears the boyfriend has uh, taken off his shirt and they're uh, they're wrestling, guys. They're just wrestling. They're yeah, but you're wrestling. Stop it. What if Yedin comes in? I'll just say hi as if nothing happened. Everything's going so happy and fun. But just then, huh? Suyun's eyes widen. She looks toward the closet doors and then we see, oh my goodness, Yedin is in the closet spying on her. Suyun freaks out upon seeing this and and I don't blame her, dude. I would freak out too. Later that night, Suyun sits crawled up in her bed. It looks like she's got some bags packed. I guess she's getting ready for the trip with her boyfriend. <laughs> we have 51 missed calls from Yedin. She sent her a message. Sorry, Suyun. I can't live on my own without you. So please, call me back, okay? Please. Suyun stares at her phone, but is reluctant to reply. How could you leave me like that without even listening to what I have to say? What am I to you? This is ridiculous and infuriating. Suyun, I'll just be honest. I did that because I wanted to protect you. Please, believe me. Aw, oh, it's so cute that she has her name as Mai Rin, you know, short for Yedin. I thought that was cute. She wanted to protect me? This isn't normal. I can't live with her anymore. Do -do -do -do. She dials a number. Hey, honey. I heard you went to your parents' place. Did you and Yedin have a fight? You should have just come to my place. There's still a lot of the semester left. Well, I felt like I would be bothering you since it's an exam period. Did you leave anything at your apartment? Uh, my USB memory card. Want me to go and get it for you? No, no. Yedin is probably at the apartment. I'll sneak in and I'll get it for you while she's at school. Let me know what the password to your place is. A moment of silence. But then, just add one to the address. But just stay put for now, sweetie. Tap. She hangs up. So... It's really over. We have so many memories, and we've had so many fun times together. We see a flashback to a young Yedin and Suyun. Give me the mirror. You're so pretty. She looks tough. Dang, what is that, Harley Quinn makeup? Nah, dude, that's Harley No-No makeup. Ugh. But I have no choice. Yedin, I have to end this now for both of us. The next day, on the bus, Suyun receives yet another text message from Yedin. Please, I'm asking you just this one last time. There's something I really need to tell you. Just let me see you one more time. But it seems like Suyun is still ignoring her messages. A message from her boyfriend comes in. Hey babe, are you still sleeping? Are you tired from what happened yesterday? Call me when you wake up. Another message from Yedin. Suyun, it's really important that I tell you this. Just trust me and come home one more time, please. Fine, just one more time. I'll meet her and end this. Since we were best friends, she enters the combination to her lock. She opens the door. She enters. She closes the door behind her. Strange, she told me to come here. It appears that Suyan has entered the apartment, but Yedin is nowhere to be found. She's not the type of person to care about classes at a time like this. Just then, she sees blood on the floor. Is this... Oh my... What? There's the scuff. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen the scut. You know what's about to happen. Oh, snap, the closet. No, 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 Yedin, Yedin, what'd you do? This can't be him. No. She trembles. She creaks the door open. We see blood emptying out. And then it's Yedin's sweater. Oh, oh what the fuck? Oh my gosh, is that Yedin? Ye Yedin? Mm. Yedin tries to say something, but her mouth is gagged shut. Wha- what But just then, whoosh! A bag gets pulled over her head. Oh my goodness, it's- it's the boyfriend? I was hoping to just get rid of this nuisance, but you caught me. It's okay. I'll just advance my plan a bit. <laughs> the crazy-ass boyfriend holds Suyan close to him, with the bag still over her head. Come, and live with me from now on. Today is our first real day as a couple. Uh, sometime in the future, who the hell knows when? Say hi, this is my first boyfriend, Jino Yoon. 
Isn't he handsome? Oh, I guess this is the past. Okay, scratch that. Honey, this is my best friend and roommate, Yedin. He's handsome. He really suits you, Suyun. Hi there. I've heard a lot about you from Suyun. Huh? I'm going out with him today, Yedin. Forgive me just this once, okay? Love you. Let's go. And with that, they head out. What was that? Did I imagine it? Yedin thinks to herself. No. There's something a bit strange about that guy. Honey, so was yesterday our first official day together? Hmm, I'm not sure. When should we start counting from? Come on, stop messing around. I'll let you know when we officially start counting. Oh, dude, look at his face. That is all twisted and messed up. That's what Yedin saw in him. That's that's why she got that feeling. Oh, look at that face, dude. That looks creepy as hell. No, dude, I don't want nothing to do with him. Oh, and that is the end of the story. Wow. At first, I was just thinking, wow, Yedin is a little too obsessed with her friend. But now we realize that it wasn't Yedin that was the problem. It was the freaking boyfriend. Ah, oh, dude, and poor Yedin. She was just trying to help. Wait, I'm a little curious. Like, what happened after this? Like, does the boyfriend actually expect Suyan to start dating him after he murders her best friend? Or does he just end up killing them both? I mean, that'd be a little weird because he did say that today's the first day that they're going to start dating. Unless he's going to date a dead girl. That's a little weird. Uh, anyways, what did you guys think about this story? Let me know down below in the comments. I liked it. It was definitely a twist. I think the lesson to be learned here is uh, don't date, don't have a best friend uh just be a lonely single potato download the amino app link in description guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like hit that subscribe button if you're new because i upload videos just about every day let me know down below in the comments guys what you thought about this story and what you predicted if it was right or wrong as always thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i will see you guys in the next video good night